Hello guys, Simon here. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Substance Designer labeling with Maya. This plugin version works with Designer 2019 and newer. So let's get started. From Gumroad, download the zip of the version 2.0.1 or greater and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Solidity Link. Copy the folder and paste it in the Designer Python Plugins folder, usually located in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Designer, Python, SD User Plugins. Now let's open Substance Designer. To verify the plugin was installed correctly, go to Tools, Plugin Manager, and you should be able to see it listed with the checkbox Enabled. If it is not enabled, just enable it and restart Designer. Also, you should be able to see a new window in your Designer interface, called Substance Designer Live Link. If you cannot see it, check it is enabled in the Windows menu. Now let's install the Maya client and verify the license of the plugin. Let's go to the config tab of the plugin, and to install the client, select the version of Maya you want to use. In my case, I will select 2020. The path will be automatically selected, so we can just click the Install button. To verify the work, we can click the Folder button, and we should be able to see a new folder called Shellless Link inside the Scripts folder, and a new shell file inside the Prefs Shells folder. Now let's open Maya and verify it is working. Let's go to the Shellless Link toolbar and click the button. And if everything is working, a new window should appear. If we open Designer, both apps should be connected. We can see it in the Connection section of the plugin in Designer and of the plugins window in Maya. It is important to notice that the connection will only be available as long as the Maya plugin window is open. If we close it, the connection will end, and if we open it, it will start again. Next, before sending anything between the apps, we need to verify the plugin. First, let's open the Python editor located in Windows Python editor. Here we'll be able to see all the messages of plugin, like errors, warnings, etc. And then we go to the config tab. Paste the license we got from Gumro and click verify. If successful, the email associated with the license will appear in the email field, and a success message will appear in the Python editor. Finally, it's time to see the plugin in action. In the connection section, you'll see the designer instance unique ID, the connected apps, in this case only Maya, the available renders. For Maya, we have Arnold, Redshift, Renderman, Octane, and V-Ray. For this demo, select Renderman. The available presets. For most render, we have standard that will rely on UVs and some tree planner options. I'll select standard for now. Now let's see how the notes button works. Let's open an empty graph and click the button. As you can see, this will help you create the available outputs for each render preset. For example, Renderman uses PBR specular roughness, so when I click the notes button, all the outputs will be created. If I have nothing selected, the outputs will be created at the origin, and if I select a node, they will be created after the selection. If I don't intend to use an optional map like Opacity or Emissive, I just need to delete the output node. And if you already have outputs in your substance, you can use those. The only important thing to consider is that the identifiers must match the text defined the presets generated by the nodes button. Now, with the substance material fully created and outputs connected, let's send it to Maya and Renderman. First, we need to define the map name, we can write a custom name or click the outer button to get the name of the current graph. Then we have the path in which all the textures are exported, by default all will be exported to the export folder in your documents. Next we have the format, in my case I'll use PNG. Then we have a checkbox called Linear Workflow, enable it if you are using 32-bit files like EXR. Then we have some emission and high options, in case you are using those maps. And finally, two buttons, Send and Update. Send will create the shader network from scratch, and Update will export the maps again, that while you will keep the changes in case you modify the network after creating it the first time. Let's click Send. And now in Maya, we'll have a new material. We assign it to the cylinder, and everything is working as expected. We exported the material from Designer to Maya and created the correct shader network from Renderman. Well, that's all for now. See you next time. Good luck.